we both work with Skip. Yeah. Um, you work with him, I think, a little longer than I have, yeah. and we both have given him credit for opening up his platform mm -hmm. and allowing us mm -hmm. to be who we are, yeah. and we could grow our own platforms, become, as you mentioned earlier, sure. businesses of, of ourselves. Mm -hmm. What's what's for the people? I don't know how many people have heard, and I'm gonna follow up after you. Sure. Skip, what's what's he really like? Because I think the thing is, if you've never met him, you just see him on television, you say, okay, that's him and who he is. Skip's a different beast. I don't I don't know if you can just describe him in one simple way. You can. You can. Um, this dude's definition of advice is diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, this dude was in the 60s and in the 70s running anywhere from five to eight miles a day. Mm -hmm. um, eating the same meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, introducing himself to his now wife and their first date, you will never be more important than my job. Get over that from now or don't bother. I mean, that's his <laughs> definition of turning her on, I right. guess. So I'm like, I, I'm just like, that's, he's a different animal. Right. Um, you know, and there are highs and lows that come with him. Correct. Um, he knows that. There's highs and lows that come with me. There's highs and lows that come with you and yep, everybody absolutely. else. And that's the way it goes. But, you know, I'm a man first. And it's about a core decency of appreciation. The reality is, is that no matter how problematic, and he can be problematic at times, no matter how problematic he can be, the reality is, is that I wouldn't be where I am today if he didn't give me that opportunity on first take. And so for me to be where I am, and to know that it, spring, it springboards off of something that he was directly involved in making happen. For me to insult him in any way is just disrespectful, it's wrong, and it's something that I would never do. Now, that don't mean I can't disagree with him. Oh, absolutely. That doesn't mean that I can't feel that he's wrong. And anybody like a Jamie Harwich, yourself, and others who know me have gotten to know me in your case, you know I would tell him he's wrong mm -hmm. to his face. Right. He knows where I stand. Um, but it doesn't take away my love and appreciation for him and the fact that he will always be a brother from another mother to me. Yeah. So I've always made that clear with everybody. Yeah, it's not often that someone can give you that opportunity. And, uh, I, 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 and I've said this several times. For me, I cannot let six months ruin six and a half good years. Right. Because... Sometimes people are willing to throw everything away right. for one mistake, right. or one bad comment, or one something like this. Right. And even though uh, that was all we were supposed to get, my sister tells me this all the time. Say, Shannon, this was all we we're supposed to get. If I uh, about five, four months ago, I had Tabitha Brown. Mm -hmm. sitting She's in the, great. I've interviewed her before. She's fantastic. Stephen A. She had no idea this was going on, so we wrapped the interview, and I'm gonna end it on this one. And I'm taking off my microphone. She says, is, uh, is the mic's off? I said, well, I'm taking my mic off. You can take yours off. We took our mics off, and she leans in close to me. She said, I had a dream last night. God told me it's going to be okay and for you to go ahead and do what you need to do. She says, it's going to be different, but you need to go on your own. Yeah. Now, God told me that. She said, now, you do what you want to do with it. Right. But God just, she said, and when I get dreams like this and I'm ever in the person's presence, it's my duty to tell them. A month later. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm, when she's telling me to Stephen A, you see how you looking at me? I'm looking at her. How you know what's going on? Right. She said, God told me this last night. Yeah. And it's funny that I'm sitting here doing this interview, I did this interview with you, and I needed to tell you this. Once she told me that, I was at peace mm -hmm. because I'm racking my brain. I'm like, what did I do? Did I say something? Did I offend somebody? I mean, I just, I, I think I'm doing a great job. Mm -hmm. She said, be at peace with it. Yeah. And that's what I told you. You did. That's what I told you. Because the reality of the situation is, is that, you know, I'm not going to apologize. Listen, I got a lot of friends over there. All right. We all know that. I know a lot of people. Um, but that don't mean that what happened to you was fair. Plain and simple, mm -hmm. okay? That ain't the end of the world, nope. but it is what it is. Yeah. So, you know, to me, it was just important for us in this industry to stand up and say, yo, he's one of us. He can't let him go out like this. 
And that was it for me. It was like, it was just that simple. You go wherever you want. You want to come first take, fine. You want to go somewhere else, fine. Because I got my crew here first take, and I'm not trying to get rid of anybody. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to do this forever. And when it's time, when it's my time, it goes my time to go. Right. And it's time for somebody else to step up. But as long as I'm here, my attitude was going to be, listen, the people that have been a treasure and a tribute to this industry are the people that I'm going to do all that I can to remind folks this is what they do. I don't want to be one of those dudes that I got these platforms first take and I got my podcast and I'm doing NBA countdown and I got more stuff coming down the line and everything like that. And all I'm talking about is what I'm doing. I, it's my job to highlight what everybody else is doing too. You, you, you wanted a few, Stephen A. Because I know a lot of people that have, could have opportunity to help somebody, but they want to be the only ninja with money. No, nah, I don't want that. And I told you this, and I'll tell the audience that I told you this. I said, you might be a first take for one year. You might be a first take for years to come. It's my responsibility, and I'm dead serious. It's a heart attack. It's my responsibility to make sure that you are more successful with me than you were before you arrived. That's what you told me. That's my responsibility. And I'm going to make sure it happens come hella high water. We ain't going down, brother. We only going nah, up. Nah. You know that's that, dude. That's the way it's going to be. You know. That's just the way it's going to be. Goat man coming. That's right. Uncle Stephen A. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know? HBCU is the takeover. You know, I ain't trying to lose. No, we don't. I'm never that. about that. Anybody that knows me ain't about that. I don't mean no disrespect to nobody. Y'all right? heard it. But I that's him. Him. As good as it gets right here. Stephen A. Smith. Uh, Monday, September 4th. No doubt.